Welcome to the Hustle Skirt Podcast, the show that brings you economic equity for everyone, every day with your host, Deborah Gould. Yes, I am Deborah Washington Gould, President and CEO of Deborah Gould and Associate Inc. DGAI is a New Orleans-based management, consulting, and performance management business founded in 1996. Hey, y'all, celebrating 27 years in this professional service industry. Please visit my website, DGAI website at www dot gold com to learn more about my services it offers in facilitating training management consulting executive coaching and business motivational keynotes services so let's talk about the hustle skirt podcast while you why you are here today but let me just please ask that you visit the website at www.persistentlane.com. All one word, www.persistentlane.com. So the mission of the Hustle Skirt podcast is to promote, communicate, and amplify the influence of men and women entrepreneurs for profit business. But today, I'm interviewing an amazing person, Dr. Kelly Joseph, a higher executive. So we're going to continue to invite our C-suite and other higher executive along with our non our profit organization. So we're going to have a number of nonprofit organization and corporation, including all the time you will probably hear for-profit businesses. So let me say some more about the Hustle Skirt podcast. The meaning for Deborah Ann, it's all about hustle mentality. So you can put your own meaning to it, but for Deborah, it's all about positivity. Never give up. Believe in yourself. Don't take no for an answer. Be confident, be bold, be courageous, be strong, be humble, be encouraged. Becoming, being, and be the best you. You can't be what you don't see. Be an effective leader, a great leader. For God's sake, be prosperous and be of service to all mankind especially in your community. Reach back to be a mentor to empower others. Small business advocacy. Serve on boards and commission to have a voice in that community. And by God, please say thank you to every client that have blessed you in your products and services. Deborah Gould and Associate Inc., I can reach back to my very first client, and I still have a strong business communication uh, relationship with that particular client. So with that being said, none you know, the mission of the hustle skirt, the meaning of it. So let's get started with my guest today is Dr. Kelly Joseph. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Miss Deborah. How are you? Fine. Would you give me a few more seconds to properly introduce you? You have such impressive, impressive credentials here. I want folks to really, as we engage you in this interview, to know something about your background. So here we go, y'all. Dr. Kelly Joseph is currently the superintendent of St. Helena Parish School District, where she has served for 12 years. She is also an adjunct professor at 
South, Southeastern University. She is an advocate for equity, access, and opportunities for children in traditional public schools. Once again, welcome to you, Dr. Joseph. Thank you so much, Ms. Deborah, and thank you so much for allowing me to be here. I'm so humble and grateful to be able to be a part of this awesome thing you have, Hustle Skirts. It's awesome. Well, earlier this year, Dr. Joseph, I had the privilege when you were a keynote speaker at an event, and I got to learn so much about St. Helena uh, School that I said, you know, I want to expand just the space that I was able to be privileged to hear your presentation to say, let me use this platform. And when you bless me with a yes to do this interview, I'm saying, okay, I want everybody in the business community, my network, you just never know a sponsor, a philosopher, or a corporation that want to get behind your mission and your vision at St. Helena Parish School District. So with that being said, I'm going to take a moment and share your contact information with your permission, madam. Yes, ma'am. So a telephone number where you can reach Dr. Kelly, and that's Kelly, K-E- L-L-I. I know we had L-Y, but she is Dr. Kelly Joseph. And that telephone number is area code 225-222-4349. And that website. So when this interview is over, I want you all to get busy, find out about all of the amazing things that is happening for this superintendent www.sthpk-12.net. Let me say it one more time. www.sthpk-12.net. And Dr. Joseph, I'm going to ask that you emphasize it and share it through some of the questions that I will be asking you today to engage my audience in learning more about you as the superintendent. So are we ready, Ms. Uh, Dr. Joseph? I'm ready. So here we go. Okay. All of my guests know that Deborah would just draw from any means. And I look at your credentials to say, what question that I might want to ask this guest on the hustle skirt? So here we go. My very first one is, what qualities do you think every career professional professional should possess. Yes. So that's one word. Authenticity. Mm. Yes. You have to be authentic. You have to be authentic to your why, to yourself, and to others. So being authentic to your why is knowing the reasons why you are doing what you're doing, right? That you love doing what you're doing, whatever it may be. My why I love educating children. I love to see the light bulb come on. I love to provide that access and opportunities for kids that, you know, are in underserved uh, areas. And so it's about doing the hard work, making that fight, doing the things necessary to give them what they need to be successful. So that's basically my why in a nutshell. So you have to know what your why is, be true to your why, and stay firm and believe in it. So you have to be authentic to that. You have to be authentic to yourself, right? It's okay to not know something. It's, it's okay to not be perfect. It's okay to, you know, stand up and say, you know what? I may not have the answer to it right now, but I'm definitely going to do the research to find that answer, right? It's okay to learn with the people that you're learning and growing with. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to fail because as you fail, you learn and you grow. So long as you don't stay in that, that mindset of failure, that you are always learning and growing. So you have to be authentic to your why. You have to be authentic to yourself and you have to be authentic to others. People understand and appreciate and respect it when you are true to them, right? Yes, yes, yes. 
Clear is kind. You know, I, I, I remember reading that somewhere. Clear is kind. So it's always good to be open, real, honest with everyone. So my thing is authenticity, authentic to your why, authentic to yourself and authentic to others. I love it. I love it. I just have to emphasize the quality in your words for a career professional, authenticity. Be yes. true to your why. And yes. for a Dr. Kelly Joseph, yours <laughs> is an educator. And understand that why, why you are doing what you are doing. I yes. love the way you responded to that question. Let's keep it going. So my next question is, who is your biggest role model? All right. So I know that everybody says it, but it's, you know, your mom, but she really is my role model, my mom. And that's for two reasons. One, she taught me how to problem solve. And the second thing is she taught me how to persevere. So let me give you a little story about both of them. So as far as solving problems, right? Till today, I love solving problems. I love having to sit and work things through. I call my, I call it um, making sausage to my staff, right? Having a figure, you know how you like sausage in the end, but the process to make it is really rough, right? You got to see it all ground up and everything. But in the end, you have this beautiful, you know, uh, product that you can sit and enjoy, right? So the same thing is with, uh, that's what you do when you problem solve. So my mom, one day when I was in high school, I was just chilling in my room. She came in with this computer. <laughs> She sat it on my desk and she said, here, this is how you turn it on. This is what was called back then MS-DOS. I don't know if you, if anybody remembers that, right? Yeah. So she said, and then she said, this is MS-DOS. And then she said, have at it. And she left the room. <laughs> when I finished, like, it took me like, well, I don't know, a couple of weeks later, right? I'm sitting there and I'm creating formulas and I'm just doing this and that. I'm figuring things out. I'm really enjoying the process, right? Started off with this intimidating thing, right? Sitting in front of me, but ended up being where, hey, you know what? I really enjoy that problem solving, right? Going through it and figuring it all out. And so ever since then, I've just learned how to figure things out. And then the second thing she taught me is, is perseverance. So this is like the funny story. My mom, we love seafood, right? In Louisiana, we all love seafood. So, but the one thing that as kids we had to do, we had to clean the shrimp. We had to clean all that seafood. So my mom had this, I don't know, like pounds and pounds of shrimp she wanted me to uh, peel. And I'm sitting in there, I'm like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. She told me, she said, you know, you take one at a time. And by the, you know, at the end of it, you're fine. It's all done. And I'm like, okay so I just took the shrimp one at a time take one at a time one at a time that helped me with perseverance believe it or not that shrimp story it is just going through it it looks like there's a whole lot to do but at the end of the day if you take one bite at a time one step at a time one thought at a time you'll eventually get it done so my mom taught me those two big things that helped carry through uh, everything that I do right now as an adult problem solving and persevering Thank you, mom. Thank you for your brilliance to put out in the world, Dr. Kelly Joseph. Mm -hmm. Teaching her, yeah, I do, Kelly, remember uh, that dust. Uh, and also <laughs> the fact that um, what came out of that as an outcome is problem solving. So thank you, mom, and also perseverance. I was never a big person on peel and shrimp. <laughs> However, your message helped you with perseverance. And thank you for sharing that with my audience today. Now, I have one other question for you. Yes. And that is, what are your school district goals? Yes. Yeah, so that was we, my takeaway from the presentation that I heard earlier in 2023 when you was doing the, your keynote. I yeah. said, oh, I got to have her share this these specific goals about her school district with my audience take it away kelly so in st helena Parish school district we have a clear vision to create an equitable uh, school culture that 
increases uh, learner success, develops educator effectiveness, and builds public confidence. And we work hard every single day to make sure that that vision comes into fruition. It is not something that we just talk about, but it's something that we live and breathe and we do every day. And so all of our goals, all of our, what we call our bold plays, all of the things that we say we're going to do, that we actually work hard to do, it all focuses toward that particular vision that we do have for our kids. So there are a lot of things that I'd like to share with you. And I do have a small PowerPoint that I like to share. So whenever you're ready for that, just let me know. Or please do. I, I believe the benefits of your slides will help the audience appreciate those goals. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Take it away. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead on and press this play from start. And there we go. So this is, of course, our emblem for St. Helena Parish School District. And it's rooted, we have uh, three big buckets, right? It is our Blueprint to Excellence. It is our Learn 2025 initiative. That is a future-focused, future-driven, uh, student-centered um, idea or different things that we're doing to make sure that the things that we do is preparing our kids for their future and not our own. And then we are also a district-accredited a school district through Cognia. So they have their own set of uh, criteria that we follow that, st that signifies that you're doing everything that you need to do to be an effective school system. And so we have all of that all compiled into our Blueprint to Excellence that you can find on our district website, www.sthpk-12.net. Okay. And so I already talked about our district vision, right? And so that, of course, increases learner success, develops educator effectiveness, and we build in our public confidence. So when you do see us on social media, you'll see our hashtag St. Helena winning and also hashtag rethink St. Helena because we're doing some out of the box creative things for our kids. And we want our community and everyone around to know the great things that are happening. So rethink St. Helena because, you know, back in the day, St. Helena was known as one of the lower performing school districts. And I just want everyone to know that we are hashtag St. Helena winning because every year we show growth mark growth with our kids. Um, so I'm very excited and very happy about the hard work that we've put in to make sure that our kids get what they need to be successful. So some of the things I like to highlight, for example, um, I know I shared this with you all, Ms. Deborah, in that um, keynote presentation. Uh, we have an awesome band program. We believe in providing opportunities like this for our kids because it leads to scholarships. It leads to um, being exposed to a lot of stuff. So one person I want to highlight is our little Miss, Mr. Jeremiah Travis, who we started our band in band at the age of three and has been in our program since then. He has made some spotlights on MSNBC News. He's been on a Steve Harvey morning, uh, Steve Harvey show, and also a lot of other nationwide, you know, um, places where we have been able to spotlight the great things that's happening with our band program. So you may have uh, seen him on those shows. I have um, yeah, national and local news. Yes, ma'am. Um, also, we have some partnerships with a lot of corporate entities. Neighbors Federal Credit Union is one. We have, have our own Hawk debit card. So um, any swipe that anybody makes that has an account with neighbors and has it through our Hawk card, that money will, will generate toward our our school system, and we'll use those funds for scholarships for our kids. So that's a great thing. We have our own heart card. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, we've also partnered with Otis Spunkmeyer Cookie Smoothie King. We have a PJ's Coffee House on our high school campus, and we also partner with Papa John's. So our kids and our entire community have access to all of these awesome things. But the biggest thing is that our kids learn soft skills. They, they are trained to know how to work in these different places. So when they move off to college or move on to the world of work, they at least have those skills to know how to interact with people. We probably have time for just maybe one or two more before we come to a close. Yes, ma'am. So I wanted to show you some awesome things that we're also doing just with our facilities. So this was an old lunchroom back in the day. And so what we did, we renovated that space, re-re-renovated, wow. right? So you see the difference, the one on the right. Wow. 
right, is the old, uh, this is the first wave of renovations. And then we re recently renovated it last year to provide this uh, space for our kids, you know, to collaborate, to have Amazing. fun in their space. Absolutely. We have time for one more slide. Media center as well. You see, starting off the where it was, it used to be an old rundown um, facility. We took it and renovated out into this new media space, then re uh, renovated it into this newer space that we also did last year. So very happy about that. Last thing, our early learning center, this is the mock-up of what our new space is going to look like. So we're very excited about all of the work that's being done in our school district. Wow, Dr. Kelly Joseph, I'm so glad that you decided to share this with my audience on the Hustle Skirt podcast. Let's hope that we can add from this particular platform of the Hustle Skirt podcast, more corporate sponsors that will reach out to the vision that you have for this particular school district. Thank you for sharing that. Thank I'm you. going to ask if you can to, uh, stop the share and so we can go ahead and wrap up the show for today. Once again, kudos to you, Dr. Joseph. And as we close out the program for today, you have been a wonderful guest. Now, this was the first time to explore having a guest on the hustle skirt and an opportunity for you to really talk about the great work you're doing in your school district. So we're going to close out at this particular moment, but one more time, I love the fact that you had all of the social media and I will add that in my information, but can you tell us one more time that website before I close out? Yes, we are at www.sthpk-12.net. You can follow us on social media uh, via Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and now Thread. And I will also, as I close out, have all this information to share with my audience. Again, this is the Hustle Skirt Podcast objective is to empower you to speak boldly, speak power, embrace change in your own vision, mission, and purpose, and get fired up like what we just noticed here at St. Helena School District, Superintendent Dr. Kelly Joseph. Make sure to uh, follow my website at www.persistencelane.com where you can subscribe to the Hustle Skirt Podcast, nine different platforms, so you can watch it on www.persistencelane.com to find out more this particular interview with Dr. Kelly Joseph today. And while you edit, tell a friend, tell folks in your school district that you had the privilege of to watch this interview today with Dr. Joseph, the superintendent at St. Helena School District. You're listening to the Hustle Skirt Podcast the show that brings you economic equity for everyone with your host, Deborah Gould. Dr. Joseph, thank you so much for the value of your time. I was truly enriched by this uh, podcast today. I learned so much more about your school district. Folks, please click like when you go to any one of those nine platforms and just to name a few, Amazon FM, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, iTunes. If you like this interview, please subscribe to it. And with that being said, Kelly, take care. This was exciting and I hope it was awesome for you. Yes, it was. Thank you so much. Oh, have a blessed day. Until we meet again. See ya. Bye-bye.